right? This reading is for Scorpio, the second decon. The dates for that is November 3rd to the 12th. This is just a reminder that I'm reading for the collective, so there'll be a few different messages for each card, perhaps, if I receive them. Um, if nothing resonates, nothing resonates. Take what you can get from it and then leave the rest. Um, if you had nothing this month, that means you're already on the right path. You don't need any messages this month, um, so check back next month. Also, a reminder that these cards are not gender specific, so if it's a king of wands, it does not have to be a male, okay? It's just about the characteristics of the card that matters. All right, so you have three cards here, which represents that your prayers are being answered. Um, it's a reminder that the universe knows what you want and what you are working towards, and you are being brought those opportunities and resources. This is an invite to go forward fearlessly and know that the universe and your spiritual guidance squad has your back. The High Priestess is your first card, which represents following your intuition, okay? Um, represents inner growth, highly awakened, great wisdom, spirituality, um, is pretty much getting more wider than it was before. Um, also hidden knowledge. Trust what you have within, okay? Um, Six of Wands in reverse is your next card, which represents a retreat after failure, giving up lack of confidence. So it kind of goes with the High Priestess, right? Your guides are telling you, you have inner growth, okay? Don't give up. You need to grow. Whatever happened that is putting you in this retreat after failure, whatever you feel like you failed at, don't let it don't let it affect your confidence, okay? Because you have hidden knowledge within you. You are highly awakened. You have a lot of inner growth that's trying to come out. Um, so don't don't inhibit, inhibit your own growth, okay? Uh, Five of Wands is your next card, and um, it represents like challenges, obstacles, a conflict, um, aggression, rivalry, perhaps a rival opposition. So there was an opposition that happened in your life. Perhaps things were going too good. Sometimes it happens. Opposition comes. Boom. Bam. You know, lack of confidence brings you back down. Don't let it. Don't let it. That is why we have opposition. It's a test. Okay. So you need to pass this test. You need to go in your, into your hidden knowledge. Reach out to your spirituality that you have in there. Okay. Your great wisdom from the spirituality. I mean, everybody gets great wisdom from spirituality. I'm sorry, but it, it's just true. So reach in there, all right? And bring it back out and don't let that opposition win. That's what's going to be happening here at end of July um, and September. So just keep your eye out on the opposition. Notice it. Don't fear it. Don't let it win. hummingbird song nectar of sweetness and joy it brings the hummingbird's healing as medicine as it sings so i feel like there is a lot of healing that you need to do from something obviously um something that affected your confidence la -da 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 -da, okay um perhaps some of you might be thinking about getting on new medicine or something um depression might be hitting all right um, but there's going to be joy coming into your life very soon. Just don't let the opposition win. 